For many years, personal watercraft had one mode, forward. This required riders to be very skilled in the handling of their craft, especially in close quarters. Mishandling of watercraft led to minor injuries or even fatalities. In recent years, personal watercraft were equipped with diverter buckets to facilitate neutral and reverse. However, their operations could be distracting and time-consuming. In 2009, SeaDoo introduced a watercraft with the system called IBR. It stands for Intelligent Brake and Reverse, and currently all full-size SeaDoo's are IBR equipped, with IBR available for the newly released Spark. This instructional video will cover the specifics and operations of SeaDoo's IBR system in varied situations. This is not an instructional video on how to operate a personal watercraft. The viewer should understand that only IBR equipped sea dudes are capable of the maneuvers about to be demonstrated. Any attempt to copy these maneuvers on a non-IBR equipped watercraft, sea dude or otherwise, could result in serious bodily injury or death. And now, sea dudes intelligent brake and reverse system. Unlike other watercraft, IBR equipped sea dudes start in neutral. During the power-up cycle, the eye control computer senses the location of the diverter bucket and will place it into neutral if it was out of position for any reason such as maintenance. It's always a good idea to start the watercraft facing bow out if feasible. Start the watercraft and it will begin to idle in neutral. Jet pumps are direct drive, therefore the impeller is always turning. This can lead to the watercraft drifting forwards or backwards while in neutral. Drift can change based upon fuel and or passenger loads. To adjust for drift, start pressing the up-down arrow buttons on the right-hand side of the handlebars. You will see neutral adjustments scroll across the dash. Use the up button if the watercraft is drifting backwards and the down button if the watercraft is drifting forwards. Be careful not to press the buttons too many times as it will take the watercraft a few moments to react. One could easily overcorrect. Eventually, you will find neutral. Advanced users may find this feature helpful when trying to keep the watercraft still in the windy and or slow current environment. However, understand that there will be limitations to this. To start moving forward, lightly tap or flick and release the throttle found on the right hand side of the handlebars. The watercraft will begin to move forward at an idle. To put the watercraft back into neutral, lightly tap or flick and release the brake reverse handle found on the left hand side of the handlebars. The watercraft will now come to a stop, but not instantly. It needs time to slow down. To put the watercraft in reverse, Grab and hold the brake reverse handle all the way. The watercraft will now begin to move backwards. You may apply throttle at this time to increase your speed in reverse. However, that speed will be limited. Always be aware of your surroundings when backing up. Caution! When reversing on this watercraft, turn the handlebars in the direction you want the bow to swing to. For example, if you want the bow to swing to the left, as seen here, turn the handlebars to the left. This is opposite of how a conventional boat works, whereas a pilot would turn the wheel to the right in order to bring the bow to the left. This will take some getting used to and it is recommended a rider practice and become comfortable with this in open waters before utilizing in close quarters. Letting off the throttle of any vessel at speed will cause it to slow down, of course. However, there is a very serious hidden danger that lurks with any jet drive watercraft. All steering ability is lost due to the lack of a rudder. Jet pumps need thrust or throttle input to steer. And in the past, riders' misunderstanding of this concept has driven many of the PWC accidents that have included fatalities. An IBR-equipped Sea-Doo can slow down much quicker than a conventional watercraft thanks to its braking system. To activate the braking system, simply grab and fully pull back the left-hand brake reverse lever at any speed above 25 miles an hour. Its activation will override throttle input. The computer will drop the watercraft's RPMs, put the diverter bucket into reverse, and reapply a limited amount of throttle. Some steering control is retained as the craft comes to a stop. 
Although the diverter bucket was specially designed to prevent the nose of the watercraft from stuffing, a rider can get a bit wet during braking. It's important to remember that the faster the watercraft is going, the harder the system works. It's very similar to slamming on car brakes. It's always a good idea to keep your feet forward and a good grip on the handlebars and warn any passengers whenever possible that the brakes are about to be used. Another way to use the braking system is to hold the brake handle for a short time to scrub speed as seen here. Once you've scrubbed enough speed, let go of the brake handle and reapply throttle. Caution! It is very important that a rider is aware of their surroundings, especially who's behind them. This is due to the IBR-equipped watercraft's ability to slow down much quicker than a typical watercraft without IBR. For non-emergency braking, always take a look behind before pulling the brake handle. If you're riding in a group, take time to warn others before the ride about following too close and inform them the high spray behind your watercraft indicates braking. This can prevent accidents by keeping others from rear-ending you. If you are shore launching, launching bow out is the safest way. However, a rider must make sure the pump is in deep enough water before starting the engine. Once aboard, start the engine, Tap and release the throttle to put the watercraft in forward, and off you go from there. If starting the watercraft stern out is more feasible, start the engine once you're comfortable the pump is in enough water. The moment the engine fires, grab and hold the brake reverse handle to put the watercraft in reverse. Once again, keep in mind your surroundings. It's recommended that a rider only reverse when it's truly necessary. As soon as you can, turn the watercraft around and proceed in forward. Beaching a watercraft without any kind of neutral or reverse system is very challenging. A watercraft with a manual system helps but can take time to operate and remove one of the rider's hands from the handlebars. IBR equipped sea dews can make shore landing much easier by helping the rider move the watercraft forward in short, slow increments. Basically, bringing the watercraft to a near crawl. To do this, simply use the throttle and reverse levers to vary the watercraft from forward to neutral and back again. Keeping in mind the water depth, stop the engine via the start stop button or pull the desk key as seen here. The docking of any watercraft is one of the most difficult skill sets to master. This challenge can be compounded with wind and currents and can be especially difficult on a watercraft without any kind of reverse. Having a manual reverse helps but once again, its operation can be clumsy and time-consuming. Docking an IBR-equipped watercraft is very easy. If the watercraft is to be docked straight in, then all a rider needs to do is ride close and parallel to the dock, use a series of throttle and reverse inputs to slow the watercraft down, then bring it to a stop. Making a 180-degree docking maneuver, as seen here, is an acquired skill. However, IBR can make it very easy. This time, our rider is combining steering input along with throttle and reverse input to spin the watercraft 180 degrees. With enough practice, one could make the watercraft move almost sideways. Practice these moves in open water before attempting near a dock. If the stern is pointed outward at the dock, simply start the watercraft, push off from the dock, and go into reverse, keeping in mind your surroundings as you back up. As soon as it's feasible, turn the watercraft around, put it in forward, and continue on from there. If the computer senses any problem with the IBR system, such as debris impeding movement, it will lock the watercraft into forward and limit its speed to about 35 miles an hour. Braking, neutral, and reverse controls will not be operable. The IBR error light will display in the dash. Although it's possible that any debris may have already cleared, the system won't know until it recycles its diagnostics, which happen upon startup. To do this, shut the watercraft down and restart. If that doesn't solve the issue, it is recommended that the watercraft be beached or trailered immediately to ascertain the cause of the error. To dock or beach successfully without IBR, approach the shore or dock at an idle and turn the watercraft in circles to slow down its headway. Then when the watercraft is aimed correctly, shut it down. Keep in mind, the watercraft will need to be shut down a bit earlier than normal.
The IBR system provides many advantages in the performance and safety aspects of personal watercraft operations. However, it does not, nor will it ever, replace rider ability. IBR does have limitations. It's very important for any rider to understand how to maneuver their machine in emergency circumstances. Such maneuvers would include quick turns, 180 degree reversals, and hockey stops. Most of these maneuvers are accomplished by quickly releasing the throttle, turning the handlebars all the way left or right, leaning inside, and quickly reapplying throttle. It's very important that these types of maneuvers are practiced in open waters away from others. The practicing of these maneuvers could be mistaken for negligent or reckless riding by others. We hope you found this instructional video informative and educational. After thoroughly reviewing this video, you should be able to operate the IBR system on any properly equipped SeaDoo. Intelligent brake and reverse can take the hassle out of such things as docking and trailering, which can make your day on the water more enjoyable. The IBR system can be fun too. There are many riders on IBR equipped watercraft who pull the brake at speed not because they need to, but because they want to. We hope you've enjoyed this presentation. Thank you for watching.